This playthrough is rated E for everyone. It's an amphibian's life for me. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Welcome well, back here with another episode of Evo, The Search of Eden. In the last episode, we finished our fishy journey, beat the King of the Sharks by doing Looney Tunes logic on him, and found our way onto land. Now we turned into an amphibian. So now we can sort of be breathe water, or sorry, so we can sort of swim in water, breathe on land, but we are a bit big in ourselves. We're going to have to lose some weight and evolve ourselves if we want to survive this land. So let's head on in. To our first destination on this place, the coast of Pang. Yep, look at ourselves. Now all we got ourselves is our. Ugh. Ugh. All right, we can eat these uh, hermit crabs for some meat, but there's not much to it. So, uh, a yellow crystal. Hello, crystal. Tell me what I need to do to survive. Evo tip. Welcome to the world of amphibians. If you evolve your tail, you will increase your jumping ability and your HP. All right, so it's a suggestion on how to play. So yeah, we're kind of just kind of rummaging around so this one's a pretty straightforward one so a lot of the a lot of the uh, areas in this one are pretty straightforward so all right so anyway let's head on to this way we'll go up later don't worry for now we'll head on to the ocean of hang so uh in this game well obviously but remember how last time where we uh jumped on land and gained legs well if we go back into the water Changes of circumstance cause an evolution. Mis mysterious time stream evolves you. So this is a place where the game forces uh, gives you a uh, tail again temporarily. It's not permanent. When we go back and land, we'll get uh, um, we'll get our legs back. So anyway, if we kill this fish here, we get uh, four evolution points and two HP. They they are cola fish. They only attack you if you attack them. Pretty pathetic. Uh, we are cola fish. It is very difficult for us to evolve or fight against other creatures, so we stay as we are. Well, you'll never evolve and become the... You'll never get with Gaia. Come on, man. All right. Well, I'm the one in charge anyway, so yeah, we can ignore him. So let's just go to the end of the screen. There's really... It's not worth grinding for um, levels here, so this is a point A to point B situation. So yeah, but as soon as we jump on land again, we will evolve. So evolve with the mysterious power of the stream. Right, let's get out of here. Yeah, some of the levels here are pretty straightforward. And like I said, no reason to grind grind meat for them, so let's go up. And head on to another destination. We're 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 breaking our way through the land of amphibians. Land of the timid Kustega? Uh, what? Oh, they look kinda like me. Huh. But anyway, let's eat one of these guys. Yeah, they run away from us, so another bad area for uh um I like the music for this place. Very silly. Anyway, we be five traps to earn some food, but yeah, we're too we're too chonky for this. Eh. And we can't get these guys either. These dragonflies, they they drop a decent amount of uh, EP, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to ignore them. So get out of my way. Oh, he actually hit me. All right, but yeah, they're they're I mean they're weak, but they run away. So there's not much I can do for it. So, but anyway, the real danger comes in the next area. I like the music for that one. Like I said, just super silly and goofy. The land of the bullets, Ukustega. Oh, these guys are actually going to be a bit more. Ow! Yeah, they actually attack. Ah! Stop it! Ow! Yeah, not a good start. But anyway, if we hit, oh, we got a flashy meat. We got 80 evolution points and 10 health for that one. Usually they drop 40, so they're not a bad. Or sorry, usually it's 30. So we want to, um, we want to earn some. Uh, well, not grind here. Protect. <laughs> yeah, they also jump on you as well. Um, so yeah, it's 15 usually. So. I thought it was higher for some reason in my notes. I, I wrote uh, wrote something off. Ah! Ow! Stop it! Look, a good thing we're a chonky, chonky, healthy fellow. Otherwise, we'd take a ton of damage. So let's just uh, take out who's ever, you know, take him off the mortal coil, the food coil, as it were. Man, surprised if, if, if they all just didn't go after me, I'd be I'd be in big trouble. But apparently, they have very poor. Uh, so, uh, skills. Oh, okay. We got enough for evolution. So, oh yeah. Let me look at our capability as a uh, as a, an amphibian. So we got 30 HP, one bite, two strength, one defense, two agility, and one jumping ability. However, we want to go ahead and evolve. Whoops. Keep pressing the wrong button. So we want to go to tail. <coughs> Whoops. Ali, I keep pressing the wrong button. It's a bad habit of mine. All right. We want the power tail. Now, unlike the other area in the game the fish area where we could kind of just grind for stuff and get the best ability here we you may want to like piecemeal your evolutions and eventually get to the best one so depending on how you're how skillful you are but because we don't have we can't just move in a three-dimensional 
uh, setting, you know, up and down and left and right, stuff like that, so. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, level up. Press the right button this time. Let's level up the power tail. Mysterious time stream evolves you. The form of guy with bigger tail. Now what this does is uh, it uh, gives us a, a better jump. And uh, let me look at our, whoops, uh, capability. So yeah, our strength went up a bit, our agility went up a bit as well, as well as our jumping power. So what this will help us do, it'll help us uh, um, get those uh, uh, dragonflies. Also in this area, a new, thing, a new feature is um, uh, day and night cycles. So you can, uh, if you stay on a map for too long, uh, the nighttime cycle will go. And uh, if you're, depending on where you're at, some of the creatures will fall asleep or new creatures will appear depending on what you're fighting. Yeah, these guys are pretty, pretty annoying, but okay. I wanna, f I wanna take out one of those mosquitoes if I can. Oh, I, oh, might be too late. There we go, haha. -ha. And then if we get them, they drop 30. Uh, instead, which is, uh, really nice. So, okay. So I want to do a little bit... Oh, no! Ah, oh, come on, man. Uh, I want to stay here until I get a decent amount of, uh, um, EP. And we still got the goofy music playing. I want more mosquitoes. Oh, I keep... Ah, there we go. Haha! -ha. Take that. I was hoping I'd get maybe a, uh... Nice. All right, I want to build up to 500 here. Just, uh... Nice. Oh, no! Ah, uh, you win this day, Dragonfly. Next time, Gadget. Next time. Oh, come on. Yeah, they fall asleep so you can get a good sneak attack on them. Don't worry, we will get our upgrade our bite here pretty soon. So That's actually what I'm building towards, so it can actually do decent amounts of damage to these guys. I don't think mosquitoes actually come at night, if I recall. And in this case, the bullet with Sega um, will just fall asleep. So, yeah, unfortunately, it's a bit of a bit of a chore in certain uh, parts of the game where you have to basically grind. Oh yeah, we can also jump as well. Yeah, see, so it's it's the bullet with Sega doing it uh, gives you an idea maybe you can jump yourself. But I keep hoping I was gonna get more mosquitoes, but uh. There you go. Ha ha. Uh. Yeah, so, sorry, I'm just like, listening to the silly music. Kind of, well, I was about to say, it, was, it reminds me of Land Before Time, but not really, because that movie's kind of depressing. Well, not, sort of, in bits and pieces. Uh, yeah, that's one of those, one of the Don Bluth movies, if you know what that means. Okay, we got 500. So let's go ahead and upgrade our jaws uh, to the tusking jaws. So that way we'll get a nice big chunk of uh, uh, bite power. Mysterious time stream evolves you to the form of, uh, yeah, bull, bullet Sega, I guess, or something like that. I don't know. Okay. So I think, uh, let's see. Actually, I might, uh, actually, let's go ahead and. Let's go ahead and level up a little bit more. This is usually one of the better, well, not the best place. Uh, yeah, show off our power now. Yeah, one shot. So now this will make it a little bit easier. I want to get to 300. So we can uh, get one more piece and then I'll help us out for a little while. Yeah, evolving is a, is a ooh, we got a flashing one. And we take out the mosquito in one bite. So yeah, jaw, jaws are definitely, a lot of times can be very, are usually high priority, depending on your situation. Just because, you know, take out things in one or two shots. Yeah, I hope I keep hoping I'll get more flashy meat, but uh, no. All right, come on. Oh, I was gonna jump, but I, I uh, didn't press it fast enough. All right, fine, we'll just have to, we'll just have to drag it out, I guess. Oh, I'm on. There we go. All right, got plenty of meat. So, all right. So let's. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to go over capability again really quick. So, yeah, we got body power went to five, strength to four. So, all right. Anyway, let's evolve to the back of the head, and this time we want the Jepol, uh, Jeprol, uh upgrade. Mysterious time stream evolves you. 
power of Chabral. Yeah, now we got our, uh, almost like a Triceratops head or something like that, except we don't have the three things. But anyway, let's leave the map. I think we've got enough for what we need here. So let's head on to our next destination. This way. The land of amphibians. Get out, stranger. This land is owned by the Eldar, who take care of plants. Yeah, all right. I want to see this guy who takes care of plants. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show off the, uh, um, whoops. Yeah, these guys are kind of annoying, these headbutters. Oh, yeah, meat does disappear after a while. Anyway, they dropped 30. Um, let's see, capability. So, if I get the Jabral, yeah, our biting strength went up to 10. So, very nice. That's where all the, a lot of our damage just came in all of a sudden. So, anyway, let's keep going. Alright, so I want to grind a little bit here. Not too much. Just, uh, just to get, um, uh, 500 again. I'd rather fight more of those, uh, um, I don't know, the headbutters? I'm not sure really what the term you give them are, so... I would just call them headbutters, just because of what they do. But luckily, like, it's, all these guys take only one shot. And they give you the same, uh, They give you the same EP as, uh, mosquitoes, but this time you don't actually have to jump to get to them, so... Hmm. Surprise our... Surprise our character doesn't uh, just get overweight or something like that or become more chonky. I mean, we are chonky already, but you know what I mean, because we're eating so much meat. They ain't get carnivores, man. They'll just eat all day if you give them the chance. I'm gonna sneak attack you. Yeah, you're not allowed to sleep in the world of, uh, of uh, Evo. No, sir. I'm gonna take advantage of that. I want to evolve, man. I want to get to the top of this food change. Yeah, they're all falling asleep. Now, there is one level you actually don't want to stay till dark if you can help it because uh they'll just uh the enemy would kind of overwhelm you so you have to be careful okay this should be last a little bit okay five hundred there so we want our next uh form uh we want to evolve to our body to the model body uh yeah we don't want to grind for armor body we could but i'm not going to because it's boring and it's not, it's, uh, it'll be overly unnecessary for what we're about to encounter, so let's upgrade to the mysterious time stream evolves you. Form of model body. All right, ooh, nice. <laughs> Wait, we got, we got, <clears throat> we got camouflage. Sorry, look at that. That's kind of cool. All right, anyway, let's get out of here. <clears throat> All right, this will give us an advantage for our next encounter. So let's head on to the boss of this place. Remember, they said someone was here protecting the plants, so... Land of the boss, uh, Ukas uh, Stega. Hmm. Well, it looks like he's the king of the fruits. Look at that guy. Looks like he's eating. He looks like a basically a bigger version of us before we before we changed ourselves. So, all right. I congratulate you on passing through the protected land, but this area is the final. Uh, this is the final area. I am the strongest of the Ukustega family. I am Devustega. But, but, did you laugh at me? Do you think my body looks funny? I know you are laughing at me. You make me very angry. I am going to defeat you. All right, anyway, let's uh, fight him by biting him a lot. Let's get him in the corner. Do, 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 do. Just get him in the corner, bite him. Yep, that's it. Anyway, he turns to over over to, over the top uh, meat and we get a lot of meat for that. Yeah, that was that's kind of a silly fight. We got 100 of evolution and 14 healing for do that. Yeah, he's really easy. Well, if I didn't upgrade my body, he probably would have been a bit more difficult, so. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just get him in the corner and just bite the crap out of him. But you are great! You are strong! I am awesome, aren't I? I've got the power of evolution, baby. Considering your great strength, I have something to ask you. Could you do me a favor? Sure. Thank you! Thank you! Actually, this land used to be covered with plants. Suddenly, insects started to evolve extremely abnormally. These insects ate all of the plant life, leaving this place like a desert. They are trying to eat any remaining plants around the area. Reminds me of locusts. Stupid bugs. They refused our proposal to coexist. Now they are attacking our people. The father of this child went to try and persuade them, but he has never returned. I mean, he's probably, you know, child of the... <laughs> Dad... Could you please help us? Well, I guess I will. All right, let's head on up then. Yeah, there's really not much else we can do. 
So we, we assume we're going to help them. Because it'll a, a, a offer us the power of awesomeness to evolve. So, alright. Let's go this way. Alright. So let's go to the area we didn't go to before. Over here. And we enter into the empty land. Huh. Doesn't seem quite empty to me. It looks like there's quite a bit of plant life here. You know, the Venus flytraps, vines. You hear something whispering in the air above you. Okay. Captain, the power green crystal has the power to change your body back to the way it was before, doesn't it? Yes. But Captain, isn't it wrong to operate the process in reverse? This crystal must be bad for the evolution process. Absolutely not. I will not take responsibility for anything that happens. It is still good for the future of this planet. Hmm. What are they talking about? Well, they're talking about the green crystal here. So what the green crystal does is it uh, <coughs> will evolve you back uh, to your record of evolution. So thus uh, bypassing um, uh, all your evolution points to that. However, I don't want to. I don't want to use it because my record of evolution is the eel right now. So I don't want to. Um, actually, I could just record this current creature. Um, um, not sure what to actually call this guy. I guess I'll just call him a model, just because of the uh, um, name of the body. I actually probably shouldn't have saved it here. Just be I'll probably save over it uh, later. Because uh, take uh, eating the green crystals will turn you into one of your uh, evolved forms. In this case, it didn't do anything. But in the future, if you have a creature in the Book of Records and you've highlighted it, you'll turn a creature. And like I said before, if you hit those red crystals, that's the time when you want to record in the Book of Evolution. Because then it usually evolves you for a short period of time into a really powerful creature. And the green crystal is a way for you to access that power again if you can find one. So. But since we didn't really have anything useful, because the form I would have turned into would have just turned me into an aquatic creature. So I wouldn't have been able to do anything on land. So it would have been pointless. So, anyway, let's go to the level we opened up by being the boss, Ukistega. I'm going to keep changing the pronunciation, by the way. Anyway, we enter the domain of Profasu. Profasu, ancestor of the cockroach. Those pesky amphibians are coming again? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah, cockroaches. Gross. They're the only thing to survive the nuclear apocalypse, apparently. No, actually, that's... I, I think they proved that that's actually not true. It's like, I think, like, TT flies or something like that can actually survive the apocalypse. Or a nuclear blast. Uh, the um, cockroaches would just perish like any other creature. Yeah, let's just take out all the cockroaches. We don't want to actually stay on this map past dark. Because the cockroaches will actually... Um, or Profusa, I guess. The uh, They'll... Um, um, They'll attack us from the other side, and it'll uh, do quite a bit of damage to us. So, but I, I earned quite a bit of what I wanted to do, which is I wanted to earn um, 700 uh, to this place before going on. So, all right. Uh, so I want to go back and basically redo this again a couple times because this is actually a really good place to grind for experience because enemies charge into you. So that that's all you have to do is just keep attacking them over and over and over again. So I'm just gonna run through the level and keep biting them. So anyway, yeah, just pexing amphibians. But yeah, you just run in, attack them. Yeah, they only give 40, but like I said, they run into you. And the way bite works is that as if you're in your bite animation, you'll still get like, you'll still get the um, uh, attack for this. So, all right. Yeah, you'll probably end up earning maybe like 700 EP per go. So this is, you. May want to actually just well, I wouldn't say this, but uh, evolve all of your stuff. But you might want to evolve quite a bit of it by this point. You know what I mean? By just going through the cockroach level over and over and over again. Now, yeah, they died off screen, so you don't get the evolution for that. So, okay, so now let's go ahead and do it again. Uh, I mean, I guess I could cut to when I grinded everything because I'm basically just doing the same thing over and over and over again. So. Um, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be right back after I grind it. Oh, uh, after I grind it here a bit. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, we're done grinding. I earned up to 8,500 evolution points, and that'll basically take care of us for the rest of this uh, area. So like this whole, the, this land we're in right now currently. So if you don't want to do that, it's perfectly fine. It's just, this is the easiest way to do it. Anyway, we entered the domain of the giant bee. All right. 
So while that bee is about to pick up that young Ukastega, we're going to evolve a bit. So I'll just do this uh, gradually. So, we'll... All right. So first of all, we want to we want to get our jaws first. So let's go for the fierce jaws for 1500. Oh, by the way, mysterious time stream evolves you. Form of fighting man. Look at that. Oh, well, that guy's. <laughs> well, sorry, sorry, Junior. I'm not saving you today. Yeah, look at that. Look at that massive grin on his face. Um, only a face a mother could love. What the heck's that? Hello. Huh. Yeah. So you can save the Stiga by uh, jumping on these giant bees, and they'll try to attack you. Um, obviously, I'm going to. Uh, they give a decent amount of EP, but uh, I'm just here to uh, get through the level. Ooh. Yeah, a bit of a slowdown on the old SNES. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, no! Save them! Uh, there's there's actually no, no technical reason to save them. Um, it's just, you know, you, you look good while doing it, so. But yeah, let's just go from A to B. You don't, like I said, don't technically have to save them. Evolution, man. Sorry, little sorry, little Johnny. You're you're the friend of the bee now. So, but yeah, no boss here, even though it's called Domain of the Giant Bee, but okay. I mean, there are giant bees, but you think there would be a giant bee here, but anyway. Alright, let's head on to our next destination. The, the land of insects. Is that a mosquito we saw earlier? Oh, thank you. Yeah, if you beat those guys, you get a um, uh, three a life. So anyway, you could upgrade the horns. I'm not going to uh, because, like I said, horns will break. So um, I would I would just ignore it. But anyway, let's go with body next. So we want to get the armor body five thousand. That's the big one. All right, Digivolve to. Armor, yeah, Armor Megamon, or whatever. Yeah, I can't uh, can't really save the, the chins here, so we just have to, uh, I mean, you could try to jump on him, I guess. Let's see if I can do that. There we go. Ow. Well, I tried to save one. But anyway, now that we got this form, let's go ahead and evolve again. All right, let's uh, evolve the dorsal fin. This time we want the jumping dorsal fin. All right, did you evolve to? Basically, yeah, look at We're basically a dragon. And look at our jumping uh, capabilities. Holy crap, look at that. Look at that. We're awesome. Now we can save all the children if we want to. Or eat them. Yeah, this is still a game of evolution, people. You could you could take advantage of you saving the children to... Uh, um, yeah, and you can insta-kill them at, uh, by getting this dorsal fin thing. So, All right, let's do one more evolution because... Uh, oh, I forgot to show off capability. Yeah, our, our uh, agility and jumping ability went up quite a quite a lot. In the armor body, the defense went up from like was it one to seven, and our fighting strength is at fifteen, and our strength is at twelve, and we've got forty three uh, uh, HP. So let's upgrade uh, again uh, to the thorny spring tail this time, and this will be the final upgrade for us. All right, evolves us. Did you evolve too? Yeah, but we're basically a dragon. Uh, let's look at our evolution, or sorry, evolution capability. So now we have 45 HP, 15 biting, 13 strength, 7 defense, 7 agility, and 12 dumping, jumping. So we lost just a little bit of jumping in that case, but uh, all right. Let's uh, call ourselves Dragon this time. <laughs> I mean, we pretty much are an old-fashioned dragon when you think about it, so. There we go. Awesome. Obviously, we could have different different versions of the dragon and stuff like that, or different... Uh, Evolve creatures if we wanted to, but nope. All right, let's head on to the next destination. Here we find the cave of the king bee. Uh oh. Ooh. Uh, so, sir, you got a little something sticking out of you. You got a little. Oh, okay. Uh, I was supposed to try and persuade the king bee, but I have been badly injured. That's a stinger. Holy. Whoa. Holy cow. That's a big stinger. Is there anyone who can tell the king bee how important living in peace is? You're you're carnivores, aren't you? Well, actually, I don't know. We're, we are carnivores, but I don't know if the Ikustega are carnivores. So uh, you look very strong. I have a favor to ask of you. I'm about to pass away soon. Please eat the food I have collected so that you may become strong enough to defeat the King Bee. If you could defeat the King Bee, it will be it will be enable the plants to recover and grow again. But I wish I would have met my son before I pass away. <sighs> Farewell, my son. He dies peacefully, but we get a flashy meat, which gives us a thousand EP. So if you don't want to grind here, grind in the uh, cockroach area. This is a good place to get a nice little chunk of uh, meat. So, oh yeah, and you can eat the uh, the skeletons here for a life if you need it. 
and uh, he's, I didn't need it, but hey. All right, your your uh, your uh, uh, sacrifice won't have been in vain. All right, Mr. B. What the? Ah, ah. Gooey, jumpy things. You guys are annoying. All right, well, anyway, let's avoid these guys so we can just jump on them. <laughs> if I can control my jump, it's a little okay. Ah, well, let's just say I'm used to, I'm not used to my new jumping abilities, as it were. Okay, let's just eat the, uh, let's just avoid these guys. These guys are annoying. All right, then. Game does not want me to enjoy myself. Uh, yeah, whatever these, I guess these are, I'm not sure actually what the name of these things are, so. Oop. Before we go in there, eat that egg. There we go. Oh, you want me to destroy all these things, huh? All right, I can do that. I can eat all this stuff. Nope. We can't get out of here. I guess we have to eat everything. Fine, I can do that. Take this. Mm, yummy, yummy. Anyone else around here? Oh, there's the last one. All right, now we're all done. I don't see any other creatures. What the? Ah, uh, here comes another amphibian. You have evolved strangely. Did you use the crystal's power? As I said before, the only way to satisfy our large appetite is to devour all of the plant life we can find. If you feel the way we have chosen it to live is wrong, maybe you should change it. You may only change it one way, though. By force! What the? For boss time against King Bee himself. So, yeah, we just jump at him and bite him. He's actually not that difficult if you know what you're doing. Huh, probably, shouldn't, probably didn't even need to get hit. Because, yeah, he immediately uh, flies into our direction. And then, yeah, that's it. Now, he is really easy, but someone up ahead may not be so easy. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Yeah, King Bee is really easy, so... All right, Whew. well, we saved the land and now plant life will, will come again, right? Right? Ha <laughs> ha, I'm a dragonfly, you can call me Vagasu. You got it, I didn't agree with the way of the King Bee either. I'll give you some advice. You have no strong enemies ahead. At this point, you don't need to evolve. The sand eater in this next area is very strong. To... Did you just say I didn't need to evolve because there were no strong enemies? Okay, I suggest you run away bit of a hypocrite or something or yeah or contrary i guess if anything huh well let's go find the sand eater dude then we can take him out easy i mean look at us we're a dragon we're the we're the max of our species at this point let's continue on all right anyway we head ourselves to the land of the sand eater so all right oh these are sand eaters huh well, they're big old worms. So, they're kind of annoying to fight, but as long as you don't dawdle in this area, you should be easy. I'm just going to try to avoid these guys if I can. Yeah, see, they're, it's best just to jump over them and not even mess with them. So, as long as you don't dawdle, you should be fine. So, just jump over them and get from point A to point B. Ooh, we got another ball Let's eat that and nothing happens. Yeah, because, you know, I already, I'm already at the best I can be, so. You're probably thinking, where are all these red crystals at? Well, unfortunately, they are not everywhere or anywhere at once. We have to just kind of hopefully run across them. Far and few between things. But anyway, that's a very easy area, so just jump over them and get to the next area. So, all right. Let's continue on. Yeah, as, as a dragon, you know, we uh, we don't have anything over uh, uh, above us. We are the peak of evolution. I should know. I play Dungeons and Dragons. All right. But anyway, we're at the uh, uh, the desert of the Edosaurus. You can't get through here if your body is still the same. It is the era of the reptile. The era of plants and insects has ended. Well, that didn't take too long, did it? But anyway, yeah, they just get taken out like easy they can headbutt you as well um there are different types of headbutters so but yeah pretty much another case of i don't need to fight these guys so because of our high jumping ability i can just go through this area so yeah it's age of, age of reptiles huh yeah i've already i've already maxed out my food chain so give me what you got 
All right, and we're at the desert of the Mosu Chop. Whoa, what the? Did that guy try to bite me? Yeah, these creatures will pop out of the uh, out of the sand and try to try to bite you. So usually one way to try and fight them is to uh, uh, just like yeah, bite them as soon as they get close to you. So, but I'm just not gonna fight them because it's not worth it. Yeah, you know, uh, like I said, we maxed out our EP anyway, but it's a cool enemy nonetheless. But let's just jump over them and get to the next area. So, all right, so. We have now reached the end of this area. Yeah, I'm going to try in the future, just try to finish each area within an episode. I would have done it last time, but I thought I spent too long explaining the mechanics. I probably should have just tacked it on to the last episode, even though it would make it longer. But yeah, we're already at the, already at the end of this, this uh, section already. Unfortunately, uh, it is against one of the hardest enemies of the game. So we'll see how many times I die to this guy. But luckily, since I've already maxed out all my abilities, losing evolution points doesn't matter. Because every time you enter a new age, you lose all your evolution points. So it doesn't. there's no point. So, all right. Let's see if I can do his first try. I probably won't, because uh, this this boss is pretty is notoriously difficult. I mean, there's a way to beat beat it easily if you know what you're doing. But anyway, we're there's the desert of the time trans. Hey, it's Magasu again. Yeah, failure. You should have listened to our orders. Hail Queen Bee. Queen Bee. I thought we killed the king. Oh right, and Bee Society queens are the uh, uh, leaders. Hmm. Especially with most insects. It was you, Amphibian, who defeated my husband, the King Bee. You have destroyed the lives of our insect society. I feel it is unfair that only our society be destroyed. The Amphibians must be destroyed too. I shall destroy you first for defeating my husband. I didn't know. You know bees will eat themselves, right? Or not bees, but insects will eat themselves. Why do you care? Whoa! Okay, so yeah, she'll uh, charge into you. Uh, whoop. Okay, that's not what I was trying to do. Yeah, she'll charge at you. Ooh, ouch. Okay. Yeah, charge into her, go under the her stingers, and try to do the bite technique. And she'll run into her your bite technique. Because the way the bite technique works is that it it it, it, it like as long as it's still active, it'll um um it counts as you biting. It is a very weird mechanic, but you can use that to your advantage. Kind of like when we fought Bruce. Uh, whoops. Oh. Yeah, she's got a kind of heinous look. Look at that. Just be careful not to, uh, um... Yeah, she's... It looks like she's about to bite you. Oh, no. Petting too hard. Gonna bite. But, yeah, this is... Like I said, if you don't know this strategy, she is really hard to fight because of just the way she works. So... Oh, yep. Oh, no! No! Oh! That's... Oh, no! I almost had it first try. Uh, actually, I don't know how many times I would have had left. But, uh... Yeah, unfortunately, when the time changed, I slowed down. And, uh, yeah. Whoops. Alright, let's try that again. Alright, I'm up for round two, Queenie. I didn't vote for kings anyway. Oh, wait, you don't vote for kings. Usually they just kind of do it because they're whatever. But anyway, come on over, lady. Whew. Okay. Yeah, I think the reason I slowed down is because she barely hit me with a stinger. And, uh, um, it caught me off guard. And I, I didn't get I didn't get back to my other form, uh, to speed really fast. Whoops. Oh, well, that's fine. Yeah, hopefully I'll be able to do it this time. I don't, I don't know if I was about to beat her. I uh, don't know their HPs off the top of my head. Uh, but yeah, this is the easiest way to fight her, is just to do this. I mean, it's a fun uh, fun fight because of how different it is. and how. And like I said, she, if you don't know this, she is the most challenging boss in the game. Because of just how much damage she does. Like, And when she charges and bites you, you know, does 24 8 of life. Like, I mean, what can you do, man? But I don't like the uh, boss music to this game. Very catchy. All right. Yeah. The nice job on the. Uh, uh, yeah. Those those fight will definitely go into the nighttime. Nighttime doesn't affect the battle at all. There's not like a. Uh, uh, oh, there she goes. Ha ha. Gotcha. And she drops into uh, honeycombs. At 500 per piece, but at this point, we don't need the... Yeah, I don't know why they give you evolution at this point, because we don't need it, but I guess mechanically, we're evolving, quote-unquote, so we beat her. So, yeah, a very difficult boss fight. I was hoping I'd only get in one, but that's just how it is. So, got in two. That's not too bad. So, the balance of nature... Uh, or is that... Balance of nature, which the giant... It's... Uh, I'm trying to remember which one's to do. Uh, balance of nature, the gi which the giant insects destroyed, will recover. The plants that were totally destroyed will grow back again. The ground will become an ideal place for all creatures again. Okay, here's your new body. It is the body of a reptile. You can evolve into many things, different things with this body. 
Great power. Give this creature a new body. Heck yeah, we're a dinosaur. Stegosaur. Oh, okay, not a stegosaurus. Yeah, enter the 2001 Space Odyssey door. So yeah, we are now a dinosaur. So basically, oh, I know Jurassic Park is technically further down the line, but still. Well, it looks like uh, it looks like our journey uh, in the land of amphibians was short but sweet, and with the power of the cockroach, we were able to max out our evolution pretty quickly. But now, with the queen bee dead, this land can when, can prosper. But what awaits us in the land of the dinosaurs? Can I can I uh, can I walk like a T Rex? Walk, do the rap of the dinosaur, do the Jurassic tro uh, trop. We'll find out next time as we enter the land of dinosaurs in the, in the third chapter of uh, 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 Evo: The Search for Eden. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.